want to ask you uh, about Darren Till and Tyron Woodley. I'm just curious how you feel uh, about Darren getting a title shot, uh, you know, after missing weight in the Wonder Boy fight. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but, you know, he got his chance. But here's what I think. Uh, if, if Till does not make weight, I feel, and the fight happen, I think he have a, a little advantage over Tyron if he does not make weight. But I think that weight cut will be brutal on him. He's a big boy. I met him. He's a big guy. Yeah. And he's making weight. I, I give, you know, the fight for Tyron. If he does make 170, I think Tyron will have a better chance. He a lot of more experience, you know. Now, do you think Tyron has to wrestle to win the fight? Or do you think he will wrestle? Yep. I think, man, it's an MMA fighter, you know, that could go, you know. Tyron is an intelligent fighter. He's going to find out, you know, everything he needs to do when the fight starts. But I think that could be a way, you know, that until uh, I think if you, may, if you strike with him, you're going to make, you know, put him in his comfort zone. But I think uh, Tyron has a lot of more, you know, main events, five rounds fight, fights, and I think that's going to count on his advantage. Both of these guys have tremendous knockout power. Who do you give the advantage to in terms of punching? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Tyron. Tyron is a strong guy, you know. He's a heavy, heavy hitter, and I give the advantage for Tyron. So, of course, the question then comes to who's it going to be? Uh, Ann Stiller, Ann New, who gets the win? I believe Tyron Woodley. Yeah, yeah he take that with W. T. Wood, you're one of the best MMA minds out there. When you break down Darren Till, what weaknesses do you see in his game that you can exploit? You know, he has to have you on his head and his punches. He has to be hammered. The one time we saw him as a nail, when he was getting uh, home with a little bit, we saw him shut down, we shot him forward. That wasn't a five-round fight, a three-round fight. Imagine when I get, think about the damage I did to Wonderboy. That happened in the fourth and fifth round. That didn't happen in the first round. You know, and, and I think when you look at him as a fighter, he has a good straight left hand, good one-two, jumped in elbow, good high kick. He moves around, he keeps the distance. He basically relies on you to miss. T. Wood, before I let you go, I have to know this. You're one of the most transparent guys there is in the game. Do you ever think at times maybe you should keep your cards a little closer to the chest where they say Kamar Usman's weighing in? Maybe even if you don't believe you're going to fight him, why not just not say it until after when it's approached to you? Why don't you leave the door open a little bit? Maybe play the cards a little bit closer to Tyron's chest. I'm going to bring the question to you, Daniel Cormier. Have you ever had a person that's been waiting in reserve just in case your opponent didn't miss weight? Well, I mean, I didn't... Never had that, right? I never had to deal with that, but, you know, on a couple days, the Anderson Silva thing, you know, I <laughs> fought the guy. It's a different situation, I understand. But if I was in that situation, situation but, I wouldn't but say it. I'm, I'm just saying I wouldn't say it, right? Do you not sometimes feel maybe you approach it when it gets there? Maybe you just kind of hold the cards a little bit closer to the chest? No, I, I just feel like um, the, this fight was brought together quickly and it was brought together because of me. I'm the one that made this fight happen. It wasn't there until I made this fight happen. I stepped up and I filled this card when the UFC needed me to do so. I did that. Nobody else. So, so you, if I prepare for a six foot three striker, mm -hmm. I'm not going in 24 hours as a world champion who thrives on preparation strategy and really breaking down his opponent. But then 24 hours, I'm not going to switch to a five foot ten switch stance wrestler. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense. I'm talking about my belt. Yeah, I've worked for that. I've trained for. Um, <clears throat> I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm, it comes a point in time where I'm not the person that you do the exception to the rule on. No other champion, no other fighter in the history of our sport has ever had a knowingly back a person on reserve. I actually got in a video a few seconds ago, I said, have you ever had to do an interview for a guy that's defending his world title belt? And then you also want him mm -hmm. to do an interview just in case to pull up another guy. He said, no, we never had it done. So you're not going to get it done today either, bro. T I'm not going to be the first one. Okay, so you won't fight tomorrow. 
but say Till misses weight. I will weight. fight Kamara. Let's get it right. No, I'm saying you'll fight Kamara at a later date when you have preparation for him. I get it. But say right. Till misses weight, do you still fight him Saturday night, even if he's not fighting for the belt? Um, I, I would be more inclined to fight Till um, a few pounds overweight than mm -hmm. fight a completely different opponent that I wasn't prepared to fight. Okay. You'll see that happen before you fight me, see me fight Kamara. You know, I can't wait to step on the scales Friday. That's 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 my business right now. You know, I don't. I'm not even thinking about the fight. Darren, you said the weight's okay. What do you weigh right now? Because I know when I'm making 205, when things are going good, I'll drop that weight number. Tell me that number, Darren. Make us feel more comfortable. I weighed in at the wet UFC weigh-ins this morning at 182. Oh, you're right on. You're right on track. I mean, you're ready to go now. Yeah. Are you annoyed? that so much of the buildup has been about your weight and the weight management. Yeah, I don't want to, like, you know, cry because that's not my, you know, the way I am. But I feel like I'm the only guy who's ever missed weight in the UFC roster. I feel like all the attention's on me. And, you know, yeah, I did miss weight, but there's many other guys who, who have missed weight as well. So, you know, I'm not the only person. You know, we all do make mistakes in my job. I'm, I made a... A silly, stupid mistake. Blame to me. No excuses whatsoever. And I'm looking to right that wrong this Friday. That, that, that's 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 how I'm looking at it. Jim Rivera joining MMA tonight. I'm RJ. He's AJ. So let's talk about your opponent, John Dotson. What's what does he do best, and what does he? What is his biggest strength, and what's his biggest weakness in your mind? Um, you know what? I don't. Really like to underestimate anyway. I just think he's, you know, he's tough. Uh, weaknesses, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, I think not, nothing really comes to my mind right now. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody kind of fights him a little differently. He's one of those guys that are in and out real quick. So sometimes it's not always the most exciting fight because you're not having someone stay there and, and bang away. You know, you have someone that, you know, runs, you know what I mean, or comes in and then tries to come out. So I know he definitely has as dangerous as the speed, but, you know, I'm not really worried about it. I had a great training camp. Uh, Morgan was a lefty that's on our team who's in the UFC now, who's 2-0, and who we are say. So, you know, he helped me out a lot and really worked and got ready for it. So, you know, I don't like to throw it in the out and say this guy isn't good or anything like that. He's good. He's tough. And, you know, it's going to be a good fight. Now, you're saying that sometimes it's not always the most exciting fight when Dodson fights. Do you feel any pressure to make it an exciting fight? Um, no, I don't feel any pressure at all. I'm going to go in there and, and, and uh, you know, push the pace and hopefully it doesn't, you know, move away too much and we can stay there and, and exchange. Is that in, a, in, a, in your perfect world? Is, is that how a fight will play out where you do, like, uh, your opponent is willing to exchange with you, willing to – not that you have to feel pressure to make an exciting fight, but it has to feel good, I guess, no, being known as an exciting fighter. Yeah, it definitely, you know, it definitely would, you know, would help. <laughs> Tyron Woodley or Darren Till, and how do they get it done? I, I love Woodley. I'd like him to win, but I'm going to go with Till. Knew it. I knew it. I think, it. He, I I knew think it. he's too big, and I think if wow. he sits on the fence with this kid or he gets caught rushing in with that blitz, it could be a problem. So I'm going to go with uh, – looks like he's got the momentum. He's been active. Uh, again, I'd like Woodley to win because I like him. I think he's a great analyst. He's a, he's an intelligent dude. He's a great fighter. But I think this kid might be too big, and it's just his time. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be – I think this other kid's going to bring it different. He's a different fighter than Wonder Boy. He's more of a pressure fighter, not a counter fighter. And I think he could do both, but I think he's going to try to impose his size. And it really just depends on who controls the range of that fight. So whatever. We'll see. Like it always comes down to. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I think this kid looks like he's he's got the momentum now. He's got the confidence. And he's a big kid and he hits hard. And, you know, we'll see if his chin and holds up. I think he's going to be fine. And, Ray, you make a good point because uh, if it is a strategic fight and they are kind of – it is about finding that range, Darren Till, the taller, longer fighter, you, you have to think it's probably going to favor him. 
Yeah, yeah. And I think it makes a difference because he's not like Wonder Boy gets you with those tricky kicks from the outside. This guy's going to be a little more in your face. And if that fight ends up in the pocket, it could be, you know, firstest with the mostest is the bestest. But we'll see. I think he's a young kid with probably a good chin. And I think the, that's going to be the difference in the fight to me anyway.